In this video, we're gonna talk about paste wax as a finish for wood and a couple other things you can use them for in the shop. Let's get started. How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. Today, talking about paste wax, we'll show you what I use it for and how I use it to put as a clear coat on wood. I used to use this Johnson's paste wax. I don't like it. It puts a yellow tint on things. It also sometimes seems to take the finish off your wood just a little bit. Uh, so I would switch to this tray wax, get it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below to this wax as well as the Johnson's if you want to use that. But this is clear, whereas the Johnson's put that yellow tint on things, this does not. You can put this on white paint and it stays white and it will not tint it. So I typically use this on my distressed wood. I like my distressed stove covers. I'll show you that in just a second as well as this farmhouse uh, chunky base coffee table. A link in the description below to that video, but you can see that I use it on the base of that coffee table. It gives it a nice antique look finish. This stuff is really cool. Check it out. Dip that cloth into your base wax and just smear it on liberally. You don't have to be uh, shy about putting this on. It'll work just fine. Just be generous with it. Put a lot of it on. You can see that it really makes that wood grain pop. And at the same time, it actually does take a little bit of that paint off. Now you can see it coming off on the rag. Perfectly okay. It really makes a unique look. So the main thing you just want to make sure you get a good even coat of that clear paste wax. I like this versus Johnson's. This is what I've switched to is this tray wax because this doesn't leave a yellowish tint like the Johnson's. This is clear. You put it on there, let it set four or five minutes and just take a clean terry cloth and buff it off and it'll dry in about 20 minutes or so. You're ready to rock with it. It's a really good way to put a satin finish on something without having to use polyurethane. It gives it a waxy feel, but it's dry. It's just a unique look. You can also use it to put on top of your tabletop. I've got a video on that. I used the Johnson's in that video. I'm now using this clear paste wax. Link in the description below to that video shows you how to wax your tabletop. And what that does is it keeps it from rusting and it makes that wood glide smooth as butter. If you use hand planes, you can put that paste wax on the bottom of that hand plane. It'll make that glide really smooth as well. So this is my junk drawer. I made this, I run out of slides when I was making my miter stand. I don't have a video on my miter stand build. Uh, this is a drawer that I put in. I've got some on the other side that I've got some storage containers on that just pull out and uh, screw separators, stuff like that, where I sort my screws at. So this one, I wanted a drawer that had just small hand tools, hammers, mallets, screwdrivers, that sort of thing. I made my own drawer slide. So I took a piece of three quarter inch by three quarter inch board uh, strip and nailed it to my miter stand. And then I took two more and put them on this drawer and it makes it slide, right? You really want them to glide smooth. You take some paste wax and I smeared it all over these slides, especially this one that, that's mounted to the miter stand and it makes your drawer glide a lot smoother. So if you've got a wood on wood for whatever reason, and you need it to glide like a drawer slide or something like that, paste wax is good for that also. And similar to your table saw top that you can put the paste wax on, I also use it on the bed or the table of my planer, which makes everything glide smooth on there. So this stuff has tons of uses for the shop. You really need to get some, link in the description below. I really like how Paste Wax puts a unique finish to the surface of the wood. It gives it a nice smooth feel. I love how it feels on there. When it's dry, you can't even tell it's on there. It's a nice satin finish. It's really, really nice. Hey, if you like that video, go ahead and click that box right there for more woodworking tips and tricks. And if you watch that next video, you know what's coming. You're going to get that virtual fist pump that everybody loves. I appreciate it. Keep watching this channel. If you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up. More videos coming.